the and winner of this match versus yes. Zero. And so it should be very interesting. This will be very interesting to see. And ADHD, I believe, was the one who knocked Zero into losers. Yes, that is very true. So they are possibly going to get that run back. Would be very interesting to see who's going to win it, especially because these guys are 2 1 in recent sets yes. now in ADHD's favor. So it could recreate the tie or it could solidify ADHD's dominance. And now, who is not Nairo into losers today? Or Ally. Ally, that's right. Yes. Not a shocking loss. Nothing against yeah. Nairo, but I a very rough he has record. never, ever beaten Ally. Yes. Very similar to a Vinny, has never, ever beaten Zero. Wow. Yes. Very, very unfortunate. I knew that as well. I was definitely. Uh, Kind of disappointed to see him go out the way he did. What with a 30% death on Nana yes. Game 3. Uh, trying to save Nana Game 3. But uh, yeah, we out to Port Town. Nah, not for real though. <laughs> that god pauses on. It would be difficult to oh, SD. Oh goodness, yeah. He's yeah. on that stage. Okay, Very Lilac Cruise right. for Game 1. ADHD has been going to Lilac Cruise against Meta Knights quite frequently. It seems to be a stage that usually the Meta Knights probably think they have an advantage on. And ADHD is oddly comfortable on it, so it works out for him. And it seems to it seems to be he's had very strong follow-up game on it. He's been able to control area against Meta Knight with the peanuts very, very well. And he's been able to abuse the platforms in a similar fashion that Meta Knight has. ADHD, never a slouch when it comes to SK Tar. He was our last year's winner, so I do not expect to see any poor performance from him. And I believe he won uh, SK Tar 2 from losers, did he not? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, coming back in two sets against MVD in the Grand Finals. And now he might have to do the same if he makes his Grands against QB. Yes. And he has quite the gauntlet to run through before that also. And on top of that, unfortunately, a rough record as he stands currently 0-2 with QB. And Nairo, of course, Apex 2014 Grand Champion. Yes. First place, coming back against Zero in the Grand Finals as well. This man, he is, or not coming back because he came from winners. Yes. Still, this kid, to close it out. this kid is a legend in his own right. Only 17 years old. And, oh, taking that down smash from ADHD, trying to barrel counter, running onto the uh, bananas yes. that are your opponents controlled, and using the barrels, which will then pop off Diddy Kong and home at your opponent, which could kill Meta Knight at this percent. It's yes. very, very uh, interesting technique developed by Ninja Link, actually, one of the grandfathers of Diddy Kong. And right now, uh, the father of Diddy Kong, basically. <laughs> ADHD, one generation after, but still extremely proficient. Unfortunately, Nairo, notorious for being amazing in the Diddy Kong match. percent differential between these two on first stop. Yes. One percent. Yes. These and it guys. all comes down to who uh, lands that kill move first, and these two proving to be dead Zero even. Zero percent differential. Yes. <laughs> these, these guys two. are absolutely like the number ones to make it absolutely impossible to predict who's going to take the match. While ADHD is up in the set count, Nairo, always a firecracker, manages to do a great job of lighting everything up. I'm pretty sure Nairo's well ahead in the set count, actually. I think well, Nairo currently, as of uh, as we had spoken recently, ADHD was up 2-1. Oh, no, 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 against uh, Zero. Oh, Zero. There we yeah. go. Yeah, but Nairo definitely uh, usually beats his team's partner. These guys always win teams together anyway, though, so I figure ADHD's like, well, he makes me enough money on a month losing to him. Yep, <laughs> exactly. No, no animosity or hostility. Yeah, these guys definitely with the utmost respect for each other's play. And now ADHD has that wall. Oh, but Nairo intercepts the banana. Almost became a threat, but ADHD managed to knock him away. Regain control of both bananas. Once bananas you have one in your hand everywhere. and one in front of you, I mean, it's, it's the classic. It yes. applies in every match. Just fire that peanut gun, wait for your opponent to come in, and react accordingly. Mm -hmm. If not, the banana on the floor will take care of it for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. So as we see right now, a little bit of a hard time. Both players trying to feel it. Ooh, Nairo with a bit of rough DI there, but cleans it up, manages to get back into the fight here. Percent lead in ADHD's favor, and ADHD controlling center stage. Oh, risky down smash, just throwing the banana, hoping Nairo would either drop his shield, go for a grab at the wrong time. Doesn't get it, and Nairo, amazing reverse shuttle loop off the stage, or off the edge, rather. ADHD, oh, oh. making himself look awesome with that comeback right now. Firing peanuts. Oh, oh, wow. Doesn't manage to turn that into a kill. So close. Just had to get that one more banana toss, but unfortunately, a little bit misfaced. Oh, stands up right through that down smash. Nairo charging it, anticipating a spot dodge or a roll. And that is definitely... Oh! Yes. ADHD, ADHD well aware of yep. the level. Yep. Not being able to stage spike Diddy Kong Got while he's in his barrel animation. Yep. And manages to kill Nairo with the release of the rocket barrel. That is like... <laughs> That's just character knowledge right yep. there, man. 
Tua definitely stage. baited Nairo into going for him under the stage there. There was not much that uh, Nairo could have done to avoid that if he wanted to kill him in that fashion. Oh. He should have just backed off. And now Nairo with a chance uh, to get ADHD off the stage. And oh. okay, back here to up smash. That's actually really cool. He probably went in, uh, went for up air though. Might have done it a little bit too slow or too quickly. Still managed to make something out of nothing. Neutral air to beat the spot dodge. There we go. ADHD still maintaining a slight lead, but now 2% differential as always. These guys putting on a show. ADHD with that oh. ultimate spot dodge game. These guys playing some intense boxing here, except it mostly consists of dodging and yes. not actually throwing any jabs. ADHD found one in there, but now he's up in the air with the percent disadvantage, pressure on the platform and at the edge. Great tornado by Nairo. Such a useful move to cover basically everything Diddy Kong can do off of the stage from the edge. Nairo's done an unbelievable job of extending this lead now well in his favor. His ADHD sitting at 135%. Really struggling to find his footing and do anything he can to start tacking on that percent for Nairo. Nairo looking to punish that. ADHD strong read of the spot dodge. Oh, and that was the shuttle loop yes. of shuttle loops. If ADHD DI'd that, you know, he would have sent. It would have been sent much further to the left. Could have survived it, possibly. Diddy Kong is a pretty heavy character. He's just below mid weight, even though he's very tiny. Might have lived. Uh, Nairo, unfortunately, you know, for ADHD that is, just knew that forward air was coming. Yes. Sniffed it out with the anti air, and now they're going into game two on FD. I don't understand why nobody is banning Pile Destination against ADHD today. Yeah. It's been pretty reckless. I mean, normally this guy has never been allowed to play on the stage, except against maybe like Falco, Olimar, Ice Climber players. But now it seems, you know, there might be some counter pick out there oh. that he fears more, and Nairo making this there look like a is. bad pick. ADHD getting stuck in that FD exclusive weird little lip there. Doing a great job of not getting stage spike, but unfortunately did not do a great job of minding his recovery and was not able to make the most out of it. Gonna get that grab release. Picks up the banana, tries to get the follow-up, but unfortunately a little bit too slow. As of right now, ADHD looking to make up that lost ground, but Nairo covering this stage. Sends him off with a down smash. ADHD still oh. gonna struggle immensely to come back from this deficit. If Nairo can remember that because he has the lead, he shouldn't play recklessly, he should be very patient about approaching. If not, not approaching at all then he'll definitely be able to extend this lead, but the more he rushes in, the more ADHD's wall strategy is gonna keep him back. And that's what it is as we see ADHD sitting here, not surprised by anything. A little slow in that follow-up with the banana, though. Yeah, you can see ADHD plays slow almost like in a very humorous way. You see him walking away calmly and confidently with Diddy Kong there. He just knows sometimes, you know? And he's gonna grab release into this banana, and no follow-up, ADHD not looking like he's in rare form right now. No, looking like he's struggling very hard to figure out Nairo's choices and option selects. Oh, getting a little hasty. He can't jump on the stage when Mennonite is using his tornado. Diddy Kong has no options to return from the ledge except stall out the tornado and try to punish the end lag. And again, there great use is. of that rocket barrel, but preventing him from getting wall spikes. Unfortunately, still at 118% of a deficit. Going to have to make a big comeback here as Nairo only needs to secure a kill move to close out ADHD's stock. Nairo with tunnel vision though, running over those bananas, just wants to completely decimate ADHD right now. Doesn't want to let him breathe or give him a chance to establish a comeback. Oh, Gets back on the stage, but he's ready. ADHD pushed right back off again, and Nairo right there with the solid dare. ADHD looking rather flustered here, having a real hard time of breaking through Nairo's defenses and trying to not let this, this lead go any further. And the last move you want to let Mennonite hit you with at 0% is that glide attack, and unfortunately, Nairo landed one, got quite a bit of percent out of it on ADHD, and he's now just extending this lead, oh. and that's all the extension he's gonna need. And unfortunately, wow. a little bit too much by ADHD when he went for that wall hop, costing him the game. Yeah, definitely a sad break for ADHD there. Catching a lot of unfortunate offstage situations, but... And wow, we find Apex Grand Finals sitting here in the loser's bracket, but before... Right after this commercial yes, break. Yes, right before, we will have to go to a commercial break. Guys, stay tuned. SKTR3 coming...